Game of Thrones finale flies high, but can't fly to the landing. The following contains spoilers about the Game of Thrones series finale that premiered on May 20th. CNN When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. After 8 seasons, 73 episodes and a much debated query of plot development, that signature for season line proves the key to enraveling the Game of Thrones finale, which, after a season that was at various times, exhilarating, exhausting and aggravating, came as something of a relief. Given the passions ignited, somewhat literally, given all that wrath inspired, by the penultimate chapter, the finale didn't possibly please everyone. While there was validity in many of the criticisms, a degree of silliness crept into the discussion, starting with those who actually signed a petition petulantly demanding some kind of cosmic do over. In the final analysis, the first half of the last episode, both written and directed by showrunners David Benioff and D.B. White, were strong, logical, and satisfying. Overall, it was the win for the ages finale, held up against the best examples of film and the abundant hype, but it wasn't an unworthy win either. Inevitably, Jon Snow, Kit Harrington, were forced to choose between love and morality, realizing that the warlike tendencies of his queen and lover, Jane Reed, Amelia Clark, wouldn't be slaked by her demolition of King's Landing. Yet the key moment came prior to that, when Tyrion, Peter Dinklage, the first as always, first breathed over his fallen brother, then led John through a recitation of Dana Reed's ruthlessness. It was, albeit belatedly, a reminder of all the terrible, hyphen hyphen or at least merciless, hyphen hyphen things she has done, which made her vengeful destruction of the city less out of character than a demonstration of her quest to win the Iron Throne. Plus, ultimately, took a backseat to that pursuit, but it wouldn't come without sacrifice. John could stop her, but not without not only killing the woman he loved, but putting his own life and birthright claim to the throne at considerable risk. At that point, with the Iron Throne rather poetically reduced to a molten heap, the finale shifted into another gear, when that featured some superb moments and callbacks but felt less impressive. In perhaps the most amusing flourish, the process of selecting a new leader saw someone propose, trying democracy, a suggestion that was roundly laughed off by the nobles in attendance. It felt like an inadvertent rejoinder to some of the show's critics, Tyson Tyson a reminder that a mythical fantasy world where a woman rides dragons can readily be held to modern day conventions. Still, the selection of brands, Isaac Hempstead Wright, to leave the kingdom seems appropriate, with Tyree inciting his inability to father heirs. As an advantage, noting, hyphen hyphen as the show has amply demonstrated, hyphen hyphen that, the sons of kings can be cruel and stupid. That's as close to a meritocracy as Westeros will ever get. Similarly, the producers offered hopeful endings for the other stars, with Sansa, Sophie Turner, maintaining her region's independence, and Arya, maybe William, and John both riding into futures that at least carried possibilities. Anything much more definitive than that probably would have felt for, although this wasn't the sort of closure that provided a genuine sense the story over. Of course, that would leave George R. R. Martin room to write more books, assuming he ever gets around to that task. This final season has obviously been divisive, and a good deal of the criticism, hyphen hyphen especially of the penultimate episode, hyphen hyphen were justified. For son, Daenerys' turn was irredeemable, based upon as an example of the show's shortcomings particularly in regard to its female characters. Block and all, Game of Thrones, we wrote the rule for a TV epic, providing a brilliantly cast serialized storyline, produced with a scope and scale that rivaled theatrical blockbusters. It's too bad that the show couldn't completely stick the landing. But when you fly that high, a oh, few wobbles are perhaps inevitable. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.